Hey guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Now the safety canopy system in the Ford Bronco is designed to activate when the vehicle sustains lateral deacceleration sufficient to cause the RCM to initiate the safety canopy inflation or when a certain likelihood of a roller event is detected by the rollover sensors, which is important. And it's also important for you to wear the, the proper safety restraint systems and to wear them correctly. Watch the video and see what Ford has to say. And this is according to uh, the manual that you get with your 2021 Ford Bronco. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Today we're going to talk about the personal safety system in the 2021 Ford Bronco. What is the personal safety system, first of all? It's an advanced safety system that protects occupants in frontal crashes. How does the personal safety system work? Now, it provides an improved level of frontal crash protection to front seat occupants and it's designed to reduce the risk of airbag related injuries. Now, the system analyzes occupant condition and crash severity before activating the appropriate safety devices. Now, during the crash, the restraint control module may deploy the seatbelt free tensioners and one or both stages of the dual stage airbag based on the crash severity and occupant condition. So driver and passenger dual airbag supplement restraints, the front seat outermost seat belt with the pretensioners, energy management retractors and seat belt usage sensors. Now driver seat position sensors and passenger seat position sensors, front passenger sensing system and the passenger airbag off and on indicators front crash and, and severity sensors, the restraint control module with impact and safety sensors. Now, how does it work? Now, when hit here, you see the airbags deploying here. Now, the driver and the front passenger airbags deploy uh, during significant frontal and near frontal crashes. Now the driver and passenger front airbag system consists of the driver and the passenger airbag modules, front passenger sensing system, and a crash sensor and monitoring system with readiness indicator, seat crash sensor, and airbag indicators. So basically this is how it works. So now we're gonna, how do the side airbags work? We're just gonna peruse through this real quick. There's also a risk of death or dangerous or serious injury, such as fractures, facial and eye injuries, or internal injuries, particularly to occupants who are not properly restrained or otherwise out of position at the time of the airbag deployment. This is how it works, folks. And the one thing about it is, when the airbag basically also works on the seat, as you can see here, and the system consists of the following, a label and bro side panel that you see here, the side airbag, inside the driver's seat and the front passenger uh, seat backrest. A crash sensor monitoring the system with readiness indicator, seat crash sensor, and airbag indicator. But the one thing I'm talking about here is how does the uh, safety can canopy work? The safety canopy deploys during significant side crashes are in a certain likelihood of a rollover event is detected by the rollover sensors. The safety canopy is mounted to the roof side rail sheet metal behind the side rail trim above each row of seats. In certain sideway crashes or rollover events, the safety canopy will be activated regardless of which seats are occupied. The safety canopy is in place between the side window area and the occupants to further enhance protection provided in side impact crashes and rollover events. As you can see here, the airbags are located up here. And the system consists of the following, uh, safety canopy curtains airbag above the trim panels, over the uh, front and the rear side window, identified by a label or wording on the side rail trim of the roof pillars. Side rail trims, which opens above the side door to allow the air curtain deployment. Crash sensor monitor system with the readiness indicator. See crash sensor and airbag indicator. That's on page 66, but this is where the rollover, the safety canopy system is. And that's the two door. And then 
it tells you about proper restraints and then this is the four door and there's all the warnings that you see here properly secure all occupants of your vehicle including your driver should always properly wear their seat belts your bags do not inflate slowly or gently and the risk of injury is there of course And this is more of the um, airbags warnings. Talk about reducing risk. Probably position yourself away from the airbag. Move your seat to the rear as far as you can while still reaching the pedals comfortably. Recline the seat slightly one or two degrees from the upright position. Then it goes on here to talk about children and how not to put a child in, in the front. In the front passenger assisting system. Again, these are just the airbags and a, a lot of detail. And the front airbag sensing system enables the front passenger front airbag. The passenger airbag status indicator illuminates the on lamp. So we all know about that. I'm not going to go through all of this. And then just one to touch on the um, airbag and the canopy and how it works. And this is there here, the safety canopy. Based on the type of crash, the restraint control module deploys the appropriate safety devices. So the restraint control module also monitors the readiness of the above safety devices, plus the crash and occupant sensors. The readiness of the safety system is indicated by a warning indicator light. So a difficulty with the system is indicated by one or more of the following. The readiness light illuminates immediately after you switch the engine on, ignition on. And again, it talks about disposing the airbag, but the one thing we wanted to just adjust and talk about is the, is the canopy and where the airbags are located. And they also will deploy even if the doors are not on, the canopy will still deploy. And so a lot of things are happening with the computer system. It's also monitoring, you know, what airbags to use, you know, so if the doors are off, I'm sure the computer also knows that as well and will, will do whatever to keep you safe. So there's a lot of thinking that's going on, which is nice to know about the safety, um, about the canopy system. And this is an awesome SUV with many, many safety features. And I just wanted to touch on the airbags in this video and I'll talk about it in a little bit detail. And a lot of it is already stuff that we know. So. And a lot of things it's talking about like Suppose if the, all of a sudden somebody sits in there and the airbag indicator doesn't come on, it's telling you here to switch your vehicle off and ask the person to place the seat back rest in an upright position. Have the person sit upright in the seat, send it on the seat cushion with the person's leg comfortably extended. That's if the airbag, um, if it's not detecting any person when a person's sitting there. So it's pretty interesting with the airbag system and how it works in the Ford Bronco. Front passenger sensing system indicators. Empty passenger airbag status. Off illuminated. On not illuminated. Disabled. Child. Off illuminated. On not illuminated. So these are the indicators. So if you think that the state of the passenger airbag status indicator lamp is incorrect, Check the following the object lodge underneath the seat and the objects between the seat cushion and the center console. So you want to make sure that objects are not lodged underneath the seat too as well. So if you want everything to, to operate and function properly. So this is the airbag system in a 2021 Ford Bronco. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day.
This is Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.